They say that April showers bring May flowers, so let's make an adorable sign for spring with this sweet bunny and an umbrella to protect her from the elements. Hi creative friends, I'm Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit. We found this silver platter at the Valley Village and it was looking in pretty rough shape. Um, it's all tarnished, so I thought it'd be fun to try to repurpose it and make it into some beautiful home decor. My mom actually found these adorable napkins at a grocery store, but I will drop the link on Amazon in the description below. So after cleaning off the platter with just a little bit of water to get some of that dirt and grime off, we decided to add the bunny napkin to the bottom about half of the platter. After removing the bottom ply to just have the top ply, I used my water pen to trace around the little bunny um, and leave a nice frayed edge. So I originally was planning to just use this bunny motif on the bottom of the silver platter. But because the tissue actually had a really nice watercolor background, I decided to use the whole one whole quarter of the bottom panel to place onto the silver platter. So that was what we decided to do instead. So after cutting one of the napkins to size to fit on the bottom part of the platter, I painted the platter with a soft white chalky paint. So this is called Lace by DecoArt. And it's important to paint the surface underneath your napkin because the napkin itself is so thin that once you decoupage it onto the surface, it would actually look really kind of faded and murky. So by painting a brighter color underneath, it will help to really make that pretty design pop out. Chalky paint is ideal for this because it adheres to most surfaces really easily and dries really quickly. I use my heat tool to help this process. I did this craft on a live, a Facebook live, so that too, I'm always looking for ways to speed up drying time so that it doesn't take forever. The next step in the process is to apply a generous coat of decoupage glue. I'm using the DecoArt decoupage glue and I will be using the iron-on technique, which is one of the easiest ways to get a nice a wrinkle-free finish for your decoupage projects. That involves applying the coat and then letting it dry completely. So here off camera, I'm using my heat tool again to just dry that. It dries really quickly. And then once dry, I can simply place my napkin on there. The beauty of this technique is because the glue is dry, you can reposition the napkin until you're happy with how it is. If the glue had been wet, then that's much harder to do uh, without ripping the napkin. I placed a piece of parchment paper over top of the tissue and then used my little heat iron. This is the Cricut Auto Press Mini and I'll be sure to link that below as well. So the heat from the iron helps to fuse that napkin right into that layer of decoupage glue. The heat also helps to press the napkin at the same time so you get this really beautiful smooth finish. I love it. This bunny is looking so sweet at this point. I'm already really happy with how it's turned out. I just trimmed off the excess part of the napkin to go along the contour of the silver platter. Basically, the platter looks like a frame around the bunny. For the next step of this craft, we're going to make a little umbrella. I just used a piece of scrap paper to trace out an umbrella shape very roughly. I was thinking kind of like a parasol, so a deep umbrella. And I just sort of played with this template loosely just to make sure that I liked the shape of it. And then cut out little scallops along the bottom.
with the template, then you can play with the positioning and the size to make sure that it's the right fit. And since I was happy with it, I used that template to trace out the umbrella from this corrugated cardboard that I had. Now this is kind of packing cardboard, but you can also um, create that corrugated effect simply by removing the top layer of a corrugated cardboard box to reveal the corrugation underneath. I've used that technique in other crafts and I'll try to find some and link them below as well. At the time, I unfortunately only had these little scissors and the utility knife on hand to help with this <laughs> cutting out of the scallops. But as you'll see, because of the corrugation on the cardboard, it didn't actually look really good. So I decided in the end just to cut it straight across. I finished off the umbrella by adding a wood dowel for the handle, a bit of pink ribbon for an embellishment, and then dry brushed the entire thing with some pink metallic paint. Next, it was time to shower our cute little bunny with some pink flowers. So I cut out these little florets from, I think I got them from the dollar store, maybe even dollar, no, I think Dollarama, and then bunch them together. I have some light pink ones and deeper pink ones here. And then I tied the entire bunch to kind of hang from the top center of the silver platter. I glued that in place and then trimmed off the excess stems. This is, I think, the fourth thrift store silver platter that I've had a chance to upcycle, and I love how each one has turned out. So I'll be sure to include those links below if you want to check them out as well. Silver platters you can get for pretty inexpensively at the thrift store and use them to make elegant, expensive looking decor for your home or gifts for loved ones. This craft was so fun to make and we hope you enjoyed it and learned a new technique or two along the way. Let us know in the comments below if there's anything else you would have added to this piece or done differently. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more nature inspired and upcycling projects. See you next week.